Hi friends, this is part 24th video in VCP8 Data Center Virtualization 2023 and in this video I am going to show you how to create and use guest uh, OS customizations in vSphere vCenter Server 8. So why, we, uh, why do we need guest OS customization? So let's say if you have uh, 10 servers or more than 10 virtual machine which you want to deploy through you can say semi automation automated way so you can use guest customization which is a very good option to deploy kind of unattended uh, windows servers or you can use same for the linux servers also so what you can do with the um, what task you can automate through guest os customization we are going to see in um, uh, while creating the guest customization OS guest customization template but moreover you can you can use the uh, network setting you can use the uh, predefined domain join settings you can use the host name IP address and other configuration lot of things and also you can use uh, windows licensing and other features so we will see how, how to create and use it so <coughs> the same thing if you want to uh, deploy multiple virtual machine and if you want to use kind of semi automated way then you just OS customization is a good way to uh, deliver your virtual machine quickly and <clears throat> so pre request you need a virtual machine uh, template uh, and guest OS customization to deploy a virtual machine through uh, guest OS customization so we are going to see that in action so as I said uh, you can create a guest OS customization with the diff, uh, all the different settings so I'm going to create a one template and then we will walk through with the same so if I show you my environment this is my environment so win 2k 22 dc this is my domain controller and I got my vCenter up and running and then I got a lot of ESXi host added 4 ESXi host added to my uh, demo environment so if I go here you can see all the all the ESXi hosts are up and running and I got my vCenter server and if I click here you can see master VM I got two uh, templates for one for two, uh, 2019 uh, operating system windows and one for uh, 2020 22 operating system so to create a guest OS customization where you have to go so if I go here and go to a policy and profiles so if you go here you will see here VM customization specification so currently we don't have anything so we can create import edit duplicate export and all these things so what we can do we can create new and when you uh, create new you can select the operating system which you want to create so I'm going to put name so let's say win 2 k 19 OS customization and then I can use uh, put something uh, this is for Windows Server 2019 with uh, apps you can put anything then you can select which uh, uh, target OS so uh, in my case this is Windows you can select for Linux also and use the cloud instant co uh, config data also if required so I'm going to focus on this so Windows and then which vCenter so currently we have only v one vCenter so vCenter uh, vcsc.labs and so on.lan and then generate new security identity this is required for uh, virtual machine uh, so basically it will generate a new SID for the virtual machine then click next you got a registration information so you can put anything like uh, whatever you want to put so I'm going to put administrator labs and so on and then click next and then this is the important thing computer name what you want to assign host name on the virtual machine so I'm using use the same virtual machine name enter the clone deploy wizard so it will ask you during the clone or deploy wizard so you can use this option also either you can enter name here and then you can append the unique uh, numeric uh, value here either you can use the generate naming using uh, custom application configuration wizard you, you have all these options so I generally prefer this use the virtual machine name so whatever virtual machine name you are going to give same is going to use as a host name so this is good now I click next so 
here click next and then product key if you have any product key you can add that also include server licensing and uh, information also you can put that if you have otherwise you can put next and administrator password this is the local administrator password whatever you want to put you can put so this is going to be a set for the local administrator of the machine itself and then you can click next and then you can select the time zone for the virtual machine if you wish to so i'm going to set the time zone also next click and then this is the extra command if you want to run anything specifically do the uh, post deployment so first time you can enter the command to run first time a uh, user logon so whenever user is going to log on you can type some command like anything if you want to ip config okay slash all you can add the same thing if you want to run anything host name anything uh, or you have advanced script you want to run anything you can run those command also so for testing i'm adding these two commands and next and then network so use the standard network of guest operating system which include the include the dhcp on interface so you can use this option also if you have any other option you can use it so i'm going to use the dhcp i have dhcp configured on my environment we'll review that later on and then we got the domain information so if you want to join in domain you can put the domain information so i'm going to put my so labs hands on dot land and then password for this account so i'm going to put administrator <coughs> and then password for this account uh, let me check what is the password for this account to make sure whatever i am typing is correct next and then we are done so vm customization is ready now we can go and deploy virtual machine so i'm going to run my inventory and this is my windows 2019 template so i'm going to right click and then uh, new vm from this template and then i put the name so name i'm going to put win 2k19 vm1 and then put in the like folder whatever you want and click next and then you got your cluster so i'm going to select cluster itself and then data store cluster click next and then i'm going to select all these options so customize operating system and then customize hardware and power on after creation so then this is what we have created win 2k19 os customization click next and then if you want to select uh, modify any hardware configuration you can do that also and this is all click next and then click on finish now it will deploy a new virtual machine from this template and then what it's going to do it's going to power on the virtual machine and apply the apply the guest uh, customization vm customization so now you can see apply storage drs started so is basically at the back end it's deploying the virtual machine and once the virtual machine is deployed it will go ahead and power on the virtual machine and apply the uh, os customization so the deployment will take some time so i'm going to pause the recording once the deployment is finished we'll resume from there so now you can see the deployment is finished and now vm is powered on so this is good so now it will take hardly 5 minutes to get the machine up and running with the all the settings which we have uh, defined the uh, in the guest os customization so we need to wait for some time and then validate the configurations and also i have logged into my ad to directory user sync computer so you can see the once the machine is joined in domain we can verify those options also so it's applying settings so i'm going to pause the recording once again for few minutes and then i'll resume so now you can see ip address configuration is done it's getting ip address from dhcp so this is good also you can see vmware tool is installed on this machine and dns host name your dns name you can verify this is the random name for, uh, with the windows installation 
soon it will uh, the vm is going to reboot now and then it will have the proper host name as per uh, uh, virtual machine uh, name so we need to wait for some time and then it will join machine in domain and it will automatically going to reboot the machine <coughs> so now you can see the machine is joined in domain also the host name is renamed and if i go in active directory and refresh this you will see the machine is joined in domain and you can see operating system information and all other information also and now if i try to log into this machine with let's say administrator at apps and so on dot lan and then password for this account So if you if you have seen uh, the command has executed whatever we have entered like ip config uh, slash all and hostname during the screen so you can customize basically just wanted to show you you can customize if you want to run any powershell script anything post uh, post deployment let's say if you have a uh, some kind of uh, tools like anti malware tool or monitoring tool anything you want to execute post installation uh, of the virtual machine then uh, after i have uh, finishing this installation you can schedule that also so you can see the host name ip address and all other configuration so this is how basically you can uh, you uh, create and use guest os customization to deploy a multiple virtual machine without kind of uh, you cannot say fully automated because it's still you need to follow the uh, deployment wizard screen to deploy a virtual machine but uh, you can you can definitely use this benefit uh, use this option to deploy a good number of amount quickly without having manual intervention to all the virtual machine deployment so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always postman my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye